Hello, and welcome to the first year of WWE's ECW, the show where we take a look back at the first 52 episodes of WWE's re-envisioning of Extreme Championship Wrestling. This week we kick off the episode with a recap of Big Show getting involved in the McMahon DX rivalry. This all started at SummerSlam when Big Show interrupted the match, helping the McMahons. There's a Hell in the Cell match scheduled for Unforgiven between Shane Vince and the Big Show versus HBK and Triple H. But tonight, DX are taking on Big Show in a 2 on 1 handicap match. Triple H and Shawn Michaels walk through some doors and enter the ECW arena. Shawn asks, is this the place? Triple H looks around and sees a fan wearing an ECW shirt and says, bingo. Justin Roberts informs us that our opening bout is a tag team match and will be contested under extreme rules. Sabu and RVD are teaming up to take on Mike Knox and Test. What a match this was. It's got to be my favourite match I've watched on the ECW weekly show since starting this series. It's a bit of a spot fest, but an absolute quality bout. If only the show was more like this on a regular basis. In my opinion, this is what ECW is all about. I won't go over all the spots, but here's a couple for you. At one point in the match, RVD hits an incredible spin kick on Test, but nearly knocks himself out in the process. Knox and Test are fighting RVD on the apron when Sabu sets up a chair and dives into them, sending everyone crashing into a table. Sabu is holding Mike Knox in a camel clutch, whilst RVD kicks a chair straight in his face. RVD and Sabu set up a table in the ring and struggle to beat down Mike Knox to put him on it. Sabu then launches a chair straight into Knox's face again. RVD and Sabu then hit a double top rope move on Knox, putting him through the table and picking up the victory. Backstage, Ariel and Kevin Fawn, who we haven't seen in a couple of weeks, appear on screen. Kevin is tongue in Ariel's neck and then asks, What do the cards hold for us tonight? Ariel flips over a card and they say, That's very sexual. Christ. I feel like I'm watching some sort of vampire fetish porno. Also, Damn, son. Matt Stryker makes his way down to the ring and we get a replay of last week's attack on Sandman. Stryker says, as the Sandman person he found out last week, brains will always triumph over brawn. He goes on to insult the Columbus, Georgia crowd for a bit. Then he says, there's a reason that you won't find me carelessly swimming with stingrays. The crowd boos loudly. And that reason is because I am different from each and every one of you. I use my vast intellect. He then gets cut off by Sandman's music. Right, get down here and kick his ass, Sandman. No one disrespects the legend Steve Irwin like that. Sandman enters the ring and Stryker runs away. He's using his big boy brains again. Next match, Kevin Ford and Ariel make their way to ringside to watch our next contest. Ariel then climbs on top of Joey Styles and grinds him. Lucky Joey. Taz's reaction to this whole thing was cracking me up. It was like he was thinking, Don't complain, mate. Balls Mahoney makes his way to the ring, shortly followed by Stevie Richards. Ariel and Fawn are watching at ringside. This was a pretty scrappy, sloppy match from these two. Fawn jumps on the apron, but Ball sees him and knocks him off it. Richards then hits Balls in his gonads, and he falls back to the ropes for Fawn to hit him with a vampire cane. Shockingly, Stevie Richards picks up the win this time. Time for another Shannon Moore segment. He says, I'm the Prince of Punk. And I'm bringing sex back. Okay, what the fuck was that all about? Anyway, CM Punk then appears, looks more up and down and says, You're a poser. He then slaps him. Shannon Moore looks like he's about to burst into tears. Well, I imagine that's put an end to these terrible vignettes. So there's a positive. One thing I don't get at all is we've been having these crap Shannon Moore segments since episode 7. Fucking episode 7. That's crazy it's been going on this long. And in the end, they make him look like a right dick cheese when he drunkenly stirs a corny ass line and then gets bitch slapped by Punk. If you're a fan of the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. For just $3 a month, you get your name featured in the credits of my videos, access to a private Discord server, and an exclusive video each month. Link in the description below. Main event time, Big Show makes his way down to the ring. Not followed by DX, instead Paul Heyman makes an appearance. Heyman says in the interest of fairness, this handicap match will not be contested under extreme rules. The Big Show laughs and shakes Heyman's hand. Joey Styles is confused. They've got two words for you. HBK and Triple H aka DX make their way to the ring. This was an okay main event. The match itself was fine. I just think in terms of progressing the brand, it's doing nothing for ECW. It's like Big Show's on a side quest. Triple H and HBK take down the security team from the apron. 
Then Shawn Michaels slingshots over the top rope to take them out. Triple H then goes to get Big Show in a pedigree position when Hardcore Holly attacks him from behind. The referee calls for a DQ. Triple H is on the outside of the ring whilst HBK is getting beaten down in the ring. Eventually, Triple H enters the ring with his trusty sledgehammer. Holly and Sho quickly exit the ring, but the security team get hit with sledgehammer shots and a sweet chin music. DX celebrate in the ring. I haven't got a lot to say about this episode. I was fairly entertained throughout most of the show, although the Shannon Moore thing baffled me. Once again, it's 3 out of 5 stars from me. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.